name is Lucio Pisacane, and I'll try uh, very briefly to, to, to give you a flavor of how important and why is important having a gender perspective in, in your proposal. So uh, gender equality is a, a long-standing feature of EU research and innovation policy. So keep in mind you are applying for uh, European Commission funds. This means that you need to know uh, about how the European Commission research and innovation policy have been shaped also on gender equality. So gender equality have been uh, I mean, as a, a fundamental value of EU, uh, not only for research and innovation, uh, obviously. Uh, gender equality also improves working and environment and talent recruitment and retention. And uh, uh, again, uh, gender equality is also being identified as a boosting of the quality and efficiency of the EU uh, research and innovation. And uh, then uh, we also have the gender perspective within the research design that uh, have been identified as uh, one of the elements that increased the relevance of the relevance and the social impact of of your research. So uh, before we go um, in the in the um, in the details, it's important, and I just leave this to you in the slide uh, to know the policy and the legal frame. Uh, we are moving in. It's important you know that the European Commission has a gender equality strategy running from 2020 to 2025. It's important you know that the uh, European Commission is supporting the European research area and one of the priority is uh, gender equality. So we still, as a uh, European uh, member state and uh, a European uh, uh, I mean, still have an important problem of gender equality in, in research. So the, uh, the era is looking at uh, gender equality and this is why also your project should have reference to gender equality. And I, I suggest you look at the Ljubljana Declaration that is one of the re uh, mo most recent documents, uh, policy document on gender equality. And then a great novelty in um, the European Commission uh, approach to gender equality are the gender equality plans. So basically, um, uh, the European Commission have been supporting strategy, uh, organizational change uh, project in research organization to tackle the problem, to study the, the, the uh, unbalanced representation on men and women within the research sector. And uh, from this year, the, this uh, gender equality plan became, became one of the eligibility criteria to get uh, European funding, but we will see this in a moment. So uh, to make clear, we have two uh, dimensions of gender equality in, uh, in, in the Marie Curie uh, proposal. The first one, and this is what we are now uh, talking about, is the gender equality at organizational level. So basically uh, the, the research organization or, or the academia organization where, where you will uh, be uh, working as a, 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 a Marie Curie fellow. The other one is the gender equality in the research design and contents that this is, uh, will be uh, the, the, the focus of the next um, uh, intervention just after me. So uh, it's important you, you know uh, the gender equality strategy of your host because uh, I mean, your project could link to the gender equality plan of your host and also possibly find a potential link connection between your proposal and the gender equality strategy of your host because this can make your proposal uh, uh, more strong and you can also uh, make a contribution to make the difference. So uh, again, the gender equality plan. Um, the novelty is this from the calls from uh, the deadline in 2022. So from now, this applies also to, to your uh, pro proposal. Um, so the applicant that are uh, public body, research organization uh, or higher education need to have a gender equality in place. And this is done to a, a self-declaration so you will be doing this in your um, your proposal in your proposal where you are requested to say if the organization where you are uh, your host organization have the gender equality plan so but what is a gender equality plan it's basically a, a strategy 
So it's a document where the organization uh, have a set of action to promote gender equality. Uh, every organization is different, so every uh, gender equality plan should reflect this, should be linked to a mission, to a context, to a community, so uh, should be tailored to a single community of research and should also have uh, some of this mandatory uh, process requirements. So it must be a public document, need, be, uh, need to be dedicated resource uh, uh, for this, for gender equality in the organization. Data collection and monitoring should be um, very detailed on, on disaggregation between the, the, the two genders. And then training and capacity building should be in place uh, to, to to create and to sensitize on the problem of, of gender equality. So this is the, um, the screenshot of the section of the, um, of the form where you will be asked to declare if uh, your host organization, so in this case, the CNR, if you will choose the CNR uh, that uh, is there, does the organization have a gender equality plan covering the elements listed be uh, be below? So in this case, uh, as I will say in a moment, the CNR just approved a few weeks ago the gender equality plan. So uh, you should uh, uh, say yes. But what, what is more important, apart from the ticking the box exercise, that, I mean, uh, is important, but what is important really is that you, you, you set and you think about your research as a, a contribution to gender equality in research so you 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 can have uh, you have here reference document where you can understand better what is a gender equality plan so you have this horizon guidance on gender equality plans uh, you can take part on a training and there is a, a very good uh, european project that is offering uh, training and this is the gender academy uh, website and then uh, the reference is uh, the the gender equality in academia and research tool uh, that is uh, from the AG, the european institute on gender equality that is uh, freely available so you, you can uh, have a better idea on how uh, gender equality in our research organization is working today you you also have uh, data on the single member state so uh, I suggest you have a look to the GEAR tool and to the AIG uh, website. Uh, just to finish, so Siena has just adopted uh, its gender equality plan thanks to a dedicated uh, working group and also with the support of a European project. Uh, I'm also part, this is the Mind the Jap project. You can have a look to the Mind the Jap. The page is uh, in English. Uh, the, unfortunately, the CNR gender equality plan is now only available in Italian because this was approved uh, one week ago, but we are uh, working on the translation. So we'll, you will find this uh, on the Siena uh, main web page. So have a look to the gender equality plan and try, try to see how your proposal can also have a contribution to the, the, the gender equality plan at CNR. This will make a difference for us, but will make a difference also for, for your proposal. And that's all uh, from my side. And, and more questions in the, in, the, in the question and answer session later on. Thank you.